Hey, hey, what's going on? Today we are going to talk about cryptocurrency trading. It's going to act as a tutorial, really, a step-by-step walkthrough. Um, in my opinion, trading is the most powerful way to accumulate crypto. Uh, we're going to go through how to read the charts, what trading platforms to use, how to use those platforms, how to look at the charts, how to know if price is going to go up and down, stuff like that. This will be a tutorial, but I, FYI, I do have a much lengthier masterclass. Um, the link should be in the description. It is free, at least at the time of me recording this. So, uh, yeah, that link is in the description. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, because in addition to tutorials, I come out with a lot of urgent news. And you want to know about this stuff as soon as possible because timing matters. Plus, you know, I have a goal of getting to 100,000 subscribers on YouTube this year. Really appreciate you helping me do that. Thank you. Now, we're going to use Bybit. That's going to be our trading platform. Um, there's a link for Bybit in the description, too. That link will have a, uh, a deposit bonus. So I think you'll get three, and a, not I think, I know, you'll get a three and a half percent deposit bonus. So whatever you deposit, uh, you'll get three and a half percent. Deposit a hundred bucks, you get an extra three dollars and fifty cents. Thousand bucks, thirty-five bucks. Ten thousand bucks, three hundred fifty bucks. Hundred thousand bucks, thirty-five hundred. I think thirty-five hundred is the max. They don't expect many people to deposit more than a hundred thousand. So this is Bybit here, Bybit.com on the English US site. With that being said, um, Bybit uh, leverage trading for crypto is not currently allowed in the US. Not because it's bad or something like that. It's just because the government can't get their grubby paws on it yet. And so they just keep us out of it to, quote unquote, protect us. Yeah, whatever. You just can't, haven't figured out how to get your cut yet, in my opinion. But anyways, I'm going to show you how to do it anyways. Um, and I use, a, I use a VPN. I use VPN Unlimited. Um, and I just say that I'm in a different country that does allow me to use my money how I want and trade if I want. Um, so, but we're here on Bybit. There'll be a link for that in the description with the deposit bonus. You'll come here, and what you'll do is you'll want to deposit first. You know, you have to actually do a deposit. So, it's been a little bit since where the actual trading happens. The inverse, per, the perpetuals, especially inverse perpetuals, where you're going to mostly want to be, in my opinion. That's where I spend most of my time, mostly trading Bitcoin and Ethereum and XRP. USDT perpetual, there's a lot more pairs to be traded with, meaning you can use your um, USDT or your SAND. You can just you can trade in other markets. There's a lot more there. You, well, the difference between these two is that in, in USDT perpetual, your rewards from trading will be paid to you in USDT and inverse perpetual will be traded to you in the actual crypto coins. So if I'm trading Bitcoin or Ethereum or XRP here, my profits are actually paid to me in those coins, whereas USDT perpetual, I'll get paid in USDT as my rewards. Uh, and there's a lot of other things to do over here too. Um, but mostly what we're going to be talking about is derivatives because this is where the actual trading happens. Over here it says trade, but this is just buying and selling. It acts as an exchange. Derivatives is what the actual trading is where you can do longs and shorts and profit from the prices going up and from the prices going down on a short. We'll get into all that in a second. Um, uh, and again, to to deposit, you'll just need to um, go under assets, really. Like we'll go to spot account. This is just an account I set up for purposes of instruction, so I don't really have much in it. Um, but this is where you would go and you could just click deposit and you could send Bitcoin over from whatever exchange you're on. And of course, you could also just buy crypto right here on the exchange where you can actually use your credit card. We have a video tutorial showing you how to do it. Uh, you know, you could go USD to whatever Bitcoin, and then you can use any of these payment systems. I would suggest, uh, well, apparently Simplex does zero fees, so maybe that's the better of the two. All of these are very safe. Bybit doesn't just have some schlub up here that's waiting to rip you off. All these are safe. I'm familiar with MoonPay, Simplex, and Banksa. Um, but if this is zero fees, that's probably the one that I would go with. Again, been a while since I was in here, so it's that easy to do. And then when you get in here, you'll go back to your assets. After you deposit, you will have 
assets now in your spot account. Spot just means, you know, like when you're in your Coinbase account and your Voyager account, something like that. It's just when you buy and sell crypto, you know. The only way to profit from that is when it goes up, right? From from beyond where you buy it at a thousand, it goes to two thousand, you make profit. If it goes down, you don't make profit. But with actual trading, you can profit when the price goes down. And not just profit, get more Ethereum and Bitcoin for free when the price goes up or down, depending on what you uh, what trade you made. Um, but uh, what we would do here to get it over to this account, you would click transfer, and you would transfer it to your derivatives account, however amount you want, and confirm and move it over. Um, as a matter of fact, I should probably just deposit this over. I don't know why I have it in here. Um, all. Well, I don't know what's going on there. I guess I clearly have some in there for some reason. Mm. All right, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. So anyways, normally you would just transfer it right over just like that. And then it would go into your derivatives account. And you want to use inverse, well, depending on what you're trading. Me, I exclusively do inverse perpetual because when I do these trades, I get my Bitcoin, my reward, my profits paid to me in Bitcoin, in Ethereum, in XRP, depending on which one I'm trading. Let's go to, uh, if, you, if you go over here again, like I said, with USDT, you would get paid in USDT as your, as your profits, no matter what you were trading over here, okay? Now, inverse perpetual, let's go to Ethereum. Oh, I know what's going on over here. Um, they're telling me my total equity in, in terms of Bitcoin value. It doesn't mean I didn't have any Bitcoin in here. I forgot about that. So it looks like I have some Avalanche, some USDT. What else do I have in here? That's not enough. Hmm. Yeah, as I said, I didn't think I should have very much in here. This is a testing account. Anyways, um, so... Yes, so this is what would pull up this screen right here. I know there's a lot of stuff to look at in front of you. By the way, if you're enjoying this so far, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. I really try to bring a lot of value. Um, so what we would do here, right, we're looking here at the Ethereum chart. This is the current price. It's moving up and down. Um, these are the sells on the order book and the buys on the order book. You know, if you don't worry about all that right now. Um, what I would do here, let's say I thought the price was gonna well not let, let me let me let me rewind a bit so what we'll look at is we're gonna either take longs or shorts long means you, you believe the price will be going up and short means you believe the price will be going down so what you would do is you would have your ethereum in this case in your account and you would place a limit order say I thought it was gonna go down so I would just you know three one one say 3.5, right? Because the price is 31, 13, 25. Maybe I put it at that. You always want to do a limit order so that you will um, not pay fees to actually place the order. And, and actually, it's the opposite. If you do a limit order, you actually get paid a rebate to place the order. So you're in profit from the beginning. So if I were to get in here and I thought it was going to go down, I would place a short, right? And I would say, how much? Let's say I had. Uh, I don't know, $1,000 worth of Ethereum, I could put in, say I want to do $200 worth, okay? But up here, this is what's interesting, because I actually have it on leverage, right? Let's just get rid of the leverage for now. We'll get rid of the leverage. And so I would put $200 worth of my Ethereum into this trade. It's already going the wrong way on me, but I'm not in yet, right? So let's move that a little bit. Maybe we go 31, 20. I'll get into how to know with a higher probability when to get in, when to get out, okay, and which, which way to go, which way to long or short. But right here, um, say we did $200, we're not doing any leverage, we'll get into leverage in a second, and I at $200, I have $1,000 worth of Ethereum in my account, we'll say, and I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna put $200 worth of Ethereum in this trade, so I would place a short doing that. You always want to do post only, okay? You always wanna do post only. By the way, on a short, so this means if I get in here at 3120 and I put in, you know, $200 worth of Ethereum, I want the price of Ethereum to go down. And as the price goes down, I will actually 
get profit, do a long, meaning I will profit, will profit from the price going up. And I will actually get free Ethereum. I will get Ethereum as my profit. If I start this with $200 worth of Ethereum and say this, I do a long, means I profit when it goes up and this goes up 10%. Well, now I have $220 worth of Ethereum. Um, I don't know what, I don't know what $200 is in terms of, you know, 10.1 Ethereum, 0 0.08, we'll call it 0 0.075 Ethereum maybe. It's probably about, probably about 0.7 Ethereum. So now I would have $220 worth of Ethereum, uh, actually more than that because the price would have went up, but that would turn my 0 0.7 Ethereum into like 0 0.77 Ethereum. That's what would happen. If the price went up 10% on a long and I had 0 0.7, which is worth $200, in this trade, 0.7 Ethereum, I would when it got it went up 10%, I would then have 0.77 Ethereum. And same thing if it went down, <clears throat> excuse me, if it went down 10%, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I would have um, 0.77 Ethereum. Hold on. <clears throat> All right, I'm back. I got a drink. Hopefully that holds me off for a bit. So I hope that makes sense. Again, I have a free masterclass going much, much more in depth on this. The link is in the description. It's free at least at the time I'm recording this. If you're watching this, definitely go watch it as soon as possible because I'm going to be taking it down soon. I do know that. Um, anyways, so that's that. And then the trade would show up down here. And, and that's how that would go. I mean, when I place the trade, if I were to place it right now at 3115, the price needs to come down to 3115 for this order to get placed if I'm doing a long. And it would come here into active, meaning it's an active order. But when it actually gets filled, when the price actually came down to 3115, then it would move into positions. And it would be down here, showing me my profit, my loss at every given moment. And at any time, I can close this position. I can close a piece of this position. I could say, hey, you know what? This thing went up 10%. I want to take some profit. I'm going to close out uh, $50 worth of this position. Or I could close out the whole thing. But I hope that made sense that if it goes up, on a long, you get you you now have more Ethereum than you had before you entered the trade. So not only did the price go up like normal and you profit, you actually get more Ethereum. And same thing when the price goes down on a short. When the price goes down, you actually now have more Ethereum, right? Your 0.7 Ethereum is now 0.77 Ethereum, right? Because 0.07 is 10% of 0.7, hence 0.7 to 0.77. Um, so I hope that makes sense. Now, how do we know if the price is going to go up or go down? Oh, I didn't, let's talk about leverage. So let's say here I wanted to do some leverage, meaning that, you know what? I only wanna risk $200 worth of Ethereum, but you know what? I like to get a bigger return. So you know what? I'm gonna do 10X leverage. So what that means is now I'm gonna type in 2000. You're like, whoa, wait a minute. Thought you only had $1,000 worth of Ethereum, yeah. But here, because I'm doing 10X leverage, I'm actually only risking $200 worth of Ethereum at current price. But I'm getting 10X the power. So the amount you put here when you do leverage, the amount you want to be the 10X. So in this case, since I'm doing 10X leverage and I put in 2,000, I'm actually only risking $200 worth of Ethereum because 200 times 10 is 2,000. So this is the leverage amount. And I can only lose the 200 that I put in. Now, the risky thing about leverage is that, say I get in here at you know 3,100, if it goes down 10 more 10 percent or more, I'm going to get liquidated. And excuse me, if I do a, if I do a short, that's going to be fine. Okay, right. But let's say I think the price is going to go. Well, let's say we're doing a short here. Okay. So I do a short, that means if the price goes up 10%, so that would be roughly mm, 3,400. If it gets to 3,400, I'm liquidated and I lose all this. But with that being said, I don't need to, I can get out of this position whenever I want. I don't need to wait for it to go to 3,400. If it gets to 3,150, I'm like, eh, I'm gonna get out. And at any time, I can just set a stop loss too, meaning, hey, I tell the computer, I go, or the system, I go, hey, if price gets to, you know, 3150, just close out my position and, and you just take your loss. You just take your loss. You don't lose 200, you lose just a little bit. And that's how you really minimize your risk. Now I'm gonna show you how to know when to get in and when to get out too. 
especially when to get in because that's the real trick. If you know which way price is going to go, you can profit a lot. In reality, if you use proper risk management like I just showed you there, talking about using stop losses and, and cutting your losers, you know, because you're not going to win them all. You're just not going to win them all. But if you use good, good risk management, you can actually lose more trades than you win and still be very profitable, right? You can take your Ethereum, your Bitcoin, your XRP, whatever, and you can grow it into more Bitcoin, more Ethereum, more XRP without ever spending another cent. That's the power of trading, especially leverage trading. So I hope that made sense. Always do isolated. Always do isolated. Because cross, isolated means that you can only lose what you put into the trade. Cross means they can dip into the whole rest of your account, right? If you, yeah, maybe I go in here at 2000 but if I have cross, um, in, like I said, if we do isolated, we can only lose the 200 That means that when this gets to, say, 3400 right, if I do a short, meaning I only profit when it goes down, but I lose when it goes up, if it goes to 3400 which would be about a 10% move, right, because 10% times 10 is going to be 100%. It's going to be 100%. So I would get liquidated. Um, but isolated means that's all I can lose. If I did cross, when we got to 3,400, I wouldn't get liquidated. It would just start, it would take, it wouldn't take anything. It would just start dipping into my the rest of my account. Because remember, we were pretending we have $1,000 worth of Ethereum in here. And we only put 200 up into this trade. Again, it's because it's 10x leverage. We're actually trading with the power of $2,000 of Ethereum but we're only risking 200. If we do cross, if we do cross, it can start dipping into our account that we did not put in the trade. Okay, so you don't want to do that. You want to do isolated and you want to use stop losses to minimize your risk, okay? Now I'm going to show you how to really increase your probability of knowing which way price is going to go, okay? So this is the trading view chart. This is really the secret sauce down here. We'll get into this in a second. This is something called Lever Atlas. Um, this is actually a trading indicator that I made for myself, uh, but you can get access to it. Um, there should be a link in the description, but with that being said, I'm going to make it so that no one can get Lever Atlas until they take the master class. Because I want to make sure you're edu you, you have some foundation of education before you start trading it. And with that being said, one thing I forgot to mention about Bybit was that you can actually was um, in the regular account. Okay, in the regular trading account, see how it says Bybit up here? Well, this is the test net. So you can actually start trading what's called paper trading, meaning you can trade with fake crypto. Okay, just to start practicing, placing your trades here and there. Um, let me go to uh, where is assets, All right? We're in the test net. So once you set this up, all you got to do, you got to set up the original account first, right? So use the link in the description. And, uh, and set up the regular Bybit account. And then after that, then you go set up your testnet account. Just Google Bybit testnet, and it'll take you to this page, and you will set up your testnet account. You will need to set that up also. Even though you already set up your original Bybit account, you'll also need to set up your testnet account. I obviously suggest you use the same email that you used for your regular Bybit account, but you definitely set up your regular Bybit account first, okay? Now, just Google it, click that, and it'll take you to, um, well, since I'm already logged in, it's going to take me to this right here. Um, but I don't want to show you that yet. Um, so in here, they, and they will automatically fund your account with, you know, 1.4 Bitcoin so that you can start trading. So this is in my, it's just the test net again. So this is, this is fake. This isn't withdrawable. This isn't real money that I have here in this account. This test net is just fake money, fake fake Bitcoin, fake crypto to start trading with. Okay, uh, looks like they also gave me fifty thousand USDT. And, oh, and a whole Ethereum. I didn't even realize that. Oh, okay, so what they did? Okay, that's what it is. Okay, sorry. So they gave me a whole Ethereum, 0.2 Bitcoin, fifty thousand USDT, fifty thousand USDC, two thousand EOS. So that's what you got in here that they that they give you. Okay. Um, and then what I would do is I would just transfer this. Uh, we'll say it'll we'll transfer my Bitcoin to the derivatives account. We'll do it all. Confirm. Now this is the test net. Again, this is this is fake trading. This is practice. This is the practice rank. All the prices and everything are the same, but this crypto is is fake. You know, it's not. You don't actually have this crypto, but it's a wonderful way to practice. Now let's go over to our derivatives account. We'll go to Bitcoin. 
I'm going to go ahead and place a fake trade for you, right? We got cross. We don't want cross. We want isolated. We're going to do 10x leverage. Um, but before I place this trade, this, this paper trade, this test trade, I'm going to come over here. Let's type in the, this is trading view. This is the thing that you want to use. Um, Fibonacci uh, retracements and everything like that. Again, this this video is already getting kind of long. 20 minutes we're at. So, you know, be sure to watch the master class. It's longer and it, it goes way in depth. So um, it's everything you really need to, not everything you really need to know. Um, not that, what am I trying to say? It, it, it's much, much more in depth than this. Because how am I going to say it's everything you need to know? Because, you know, every, there's never, you never know everything. You know what I mean? I don't know everything. No one ever, there's no end. Like, all right, now I know everything. But the master class is just much more in depth than this tutorial that I'm giving you right here. And that is free. Link in the uh, link in description. Go take that. It's free at least at the time of me recording this. I will be taking it down soon though. Um, and by the way, if you're liking this, please please hit the like button and subscribe. So we're in trading view. Trading view. Um, there should probably be a link for this in the description also. This is what you'll want to use. Just just trust me on that. Okay. Plus anyone you ever go watch, this is what they're using. So we're charting the price, and what we want to see, I want you to realize price moves in waves, right? Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Bottoms in the two hour time frame. I like to trade on the, the two hour and the one hour time frame because they're good for more frequent trading, but they give enough data that you can feel you can have a high enough probability in most of your trades. Because again, you're not going to win all your trades. That's why you use good risk management. You use stop losses and you just get out of losing positions. And you just, for me, I usually do one to one and a half percent because I usually trade with leverage, usually about 10x leverage. So if the price moves one to one and a half percent, I usually have a stop loss set to just close the position because there, there's always another trade right around the corner. Okay. You're not going to try to get rich in one trade. It's about um, averages. Okay. And believe me, I've been liquidated because I've been greedy. You don't want that. Just take your little losses, take your little gains, and take your big gains. You're in 100% control. You never have to get liquidated. You never have to take a big loss because you can get out whenever you want and you can set stop losses, okay? Really hear me on that. Now, this indicator down here, Lever Atlas, you can get access to this, but you gotta watch the masterclass now, there may be a link for it in the description, but typically I don't offer it to people until they've watched the master class. So what these waves are here, right? Talk about price moving in waves. These waves, think of them as momentum waves. There's a lot more that goes into these. They just look like little bubbly waves. Believe me, this took me months to put together. There's a pretty complex algorithm that goes into here. A lot of different metrics and indicators that go into making this one indicator. Plus functions like these red dots here indicate topping out of price, right? Because as you follow this dot, look at this little red dot, you follow the dotted line up, look, that was a topping out of price. Green dots indicate bottoming out of price, right? Follow the dot up, you had a bottoming out of price, and then another bottoming out of price. So this is why I really want to point out this is a really good example. Do you see how these two green dots are going up? This dot is higher than this dot. Again, this is the center line. Think of this as zero. So up momentum, down momentum. This is moving up. And again, two hour time frame. So each one of these candles represents two hours of price action. This green dot right here hit a bottom, and then, and then we had a lower low. Here's a low, here's a lower low, right? Price going down. Look at these two dots. Momentum is moving up. When you see something like that, that's called a bullish divergence when price is going down and momentum is going up. And what happened right here on the dot, literally on this dot, follow the dotted line up. You see where it goes? right here. And what happened? Whoop. That's a really good time to get in on a long. Okay. Um, let's find an example of a bearish divergence. Uh, let's see, this was a decent one right here, right? Because look at this little red. This is a decent one. I don't love it. It's not my favorite. I like to see the dot come up above this. See this white dotted line here. I like to see it come up over here, something like this. Okay. And what we'll be looking for on this side is when we're making higher highs and these momentum waves are making lower waves, okay? So if price is going up and momentum is going down, that's an indicator of a bearish divergence. And that's typically a sign that price is 
the top of that wave and it's going to come down. I don't know how far it's going to come down or for how long it's going to come down, but you can, there's not a divergence, right? It doesn't catch, it doesn't point out every one this, this ridiculous, this uh, obviously, right? Because there wasn't a line here and here we go. And it met, you'll figure that out over time. Let me move this over and you'll see there was a, this green dot all the way down here and you always want to go off the lowest one to a reasonable degree going backwards in time, okay? So what do we have here? We had price going up, excuse me, price going down, price going down, momentum going up. This little wave right here, what happened? Price went up, didn't go up a ton, and then it crashed like crazy. But this is again, why you set stop losses. Because when you get into the profit, you move your stop loss to your entry price. So if I got in at you know, 42.657, I'm gonna move my stop loss to that price I got in at, you know, 41.680, whatever I said. You know, so that I know if the price comes down, it's going to automatically close the position. And I would take some profit up here, some profit. I've got to close my whole position up here, but I take some profit. Just take profit, okay? Take profit. Don't try to find the big shoots and prevent yourself from, don't be too greedy and protect your downside, okay? Um, so this was a really good one. Look at this. We just see dots going up, right? Price definitely going down, but momentum going up. Let's look at it even more locally. Look at this green dot right here and this green dot right here, right? Price is coming down. Here's a bottom. Here's a low and here's a low. Here's a low. Here's a lower low. Here's a bottom of a wave. Here's a higher bottom of a wave. Price going down, momentum going up, and price went up some, right? And then it came back down. But then we had another wave. <clears throat> so price it's making a much lower bottom, right? So price definitely coming down, momentum going up because this green dot is higher. Bullish divergence and what happened? Well, we've been going up ever since, actually. Um, so again, you need some, I don't, you know, whether you use Lever Atlas or you use something else, whatever, but you need to be able to find a way to know where these pivot points are, okay? And this is the best way I've found to do it. It took me months to develop this thing working with coders and, and programmers and stuff like that. Um, and I, it, I think this thing works very, very, very well. Let's go to Ethereum real quick. And again, I also like to time these up with Fibonacci lines. And I have that's what these are here, Fibonacci lines. Uh, you can just do that on TradingView by Fib Retracement. Uh, I'm not going to get into all that here, but in the master class, I do show you how to do that. Um, we had kind of the same thing going on here as we saw in Bitcoin, right? Price coming down, momentum slightly going up, and it took off. This has been a weird period, by the way. This is this has been unusual price action um, the past couple weeks, past week, week and a half, because we are coming off a. Let me click this real quick. We are coming off of a pretty hefty crash. And move this back to the daily. We were all the way up here. And then we've come all the way down here. But you see, look at, this is a really good example. All these lines that I drew, these Fibonacci lines. Look at how good. Oh, but the wick came down. Yeah, it wicked and it still hit one of the lines down here and bounced back up and rode it. It was good support, good support, boom, good support up. And then it broke through down, stopped right here, came up, hit the ceiling in this golden pocket, and then came down and stopped right here on this. Oh, but it wicked below. Yeah, but look at this. This is this is the zone. And now it's going up. And now we're fighting with this, the 0 0.5, about 3206. We're fighting with this as a as a resistance, a ceiling. Okay, so that's why Fibonacci lines are important. So I know, especially when we come to times like this, and we're coming towards these Fibonacci lines, these zones of these strong zones of support and resistance, and I'm seeing divergences going on. That's, that gives me a really strong indicator of which way price is going, okay? Like, for example, look back here. Look at this green dot. Follow it up here. Here's a low. Here's not necessarily a lower low, but a same low, which matters too, but a much shallower momentum wave to the downside. So we have price going sideways, up, down, sideways, and momentum going up. So this is a decently... A decent amount of probability spot to take along, and boy, would have that paid off. Same thing here, right? We got this big red dot up here, this little red dot down here, and we had a little bit of a drop, but it came up, still fought its way up, but and then it went down, 
okay? And we were right here at that um, um, Fibonacci line. So that was pretty good. Um, but I don't usually trade on the daily. I usually trade in shorter time frames, like say the two hour. So let's, uh, let's tighten this up, pull this up. To me, it looks like Ethereum's, see, Lever Atlas pointed this out right here. Look, so we have this red dot to this high, and then we got a higher high, right? So price is going up, and we're hitting this Fibonacci line right here, the zone of resistance, and momentum is going down, right? We got this little line, this shallower wave. Yeah, but it's only a little bit less. Believe me, this thing is very accurate. Lever Atlas is very accurate, so if it's a lower wave, it is a lower wave. And if it's a higher high, obviously it's a higher high. You can see price kind of teetering out. So I think this is a good spot for a short. So let's go over here into our testnet account. Where did our testnet account go? There it is. Let's zoom in a bit more though. Let's zoom in a bit more. And let's go down to the one hour. Boy, we're over 30 minutes. It's a long one, but it's packed with value. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Help me get to 100,000. Yeah, this is a pretty, look at this. This red dot here correlating to this high is much lower red dot down here wave. I wish I'd seen it back here because now we are right here. I would have rather got in here right at this line, 32.14, uh, especially with these waves printing like this. And now it's dipping down. It actually looks to me like price might be turning around to go up. Let's type in 45 minutes. Maybe we printed a green dot on it. Not quite yet. Let's look at the 30 minute. Interesting. Price coming down, momentum going up. Maybe we have a short term up. So I think we're gonna come back up here some. We're gonna go place a test net trade in Ethereum. Derivatives versus perpetual Ethereum. Uh, and we'll do not cross, we'll do isolated. We'll do a 10x trade. Sure, why not? It's fake money anyways. Confirm. Um, let's see here. So let's go with 3,100. Quantity, we're doing 10x leverage. How much do we have down here? Oh, no, we had to do Bitcoin. Damn it, we had to do Bitcoin. Let's go. Well, easy enough. Let's just go back to our testnet account. Uh, where are we? Uh, assets. Um, and we will go to transfer Ethereum. We're going to transfer it all. There we go. Go back to our Ethereum account. Now we have one Ethereum down here. Um, let's do, we're going to get in here. Maybe I'll move it down. Yeah, it's already went down some. So maybe I go 90. Go 93. I'm not too worried about it going. Let's take a look at the chart again. We've printed a dot down here. I think I like the 3100. I don't even want to get too picky about it. Let's just go with, oh, look at that. It's gone down even lower. He said we're going to get in there before we miss it. 88, that's not a big deal. Uh, we'll just do 1,000, okay? We're going to buy along. We're going to not do that. Cancel that because I want to do a post only. Oh, it's really going down. Look at that. Interesting. It's kind of broken down a little bit. Very interesting. Let's go to the 15 minute because now it's kind of changing on me. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, 15 showing some to this little wave here. Mm, I'm just gonna get in, because it's fake money. Granted, this isn't the moment that I would get in. Um, we'll go with that, let's go 1,000, we'll buy along, confirm. And now, over here in active, we have a position waiting to be filled. But again, we're doing 10x leverage. So we've only put 0.033 Ethereum at risk, which is about 100 bucks. But since we're on 10x leverage, we're going to get the trading profits from a thousand, from from a thousand dollars. Right? This is the 10x price. The one hundred dollars we put up times 10, so a thousand. That's the number you put in here. And as soon as this thing gets filled, if it gets filled, I want it to get filled. So I'm going to actually change the order price real quick. 
and we did it as a limit, okay, did it as a limit, so that we will actually get paid a rebate to place this order. So it should get filled. Come on, fill. Yep, there we go. 